so interactive ruby is only useful for testing our syntax or whenever we are learning new topics we will be testing in the interactive ruby but we need a file to write the entire program so let me show you how to download a sublime text editor so you can use any text editor there is a one more famous text editor called optana you can download it also but i like sublime the most select for search for sublime text.com it is see sublime text.com press enter so this is most beautiful editor i found it will show you your program in much more beautiful way and you will be loving writing the code in this text editor so click on the download and install it that's it it is just two simple steps so once you download you should have to make small work so open your sublime text so this is how your first screens look so go to the file there are many options in that you can explore it one by one and first you create a new file once you have created a new file save as click on save as so don't forget you should have to always save the file where you have installed the ruby that you should have to do so we have install it in c go to the c and go to the ruby and write your file name let me write first dot rb don't forget to write dot rb that's it you have to do now you are ready to write your program in sublime click on the save now you are ready to write see here you can also change the themes i will show you like now you can write your program in so see how colorful it is in this you can zoom it whenever you want and there are a lot more options and it is not line by line execution you will be writing the entire code and you will be executing it at once like print hello world print welcome now if you want to execute it press control and b b keyword as soon as you press see hello world and welcome both are printed in the one line that is the difference between print and puts p u t s now if you execute it see here you should have to also write this one puts p u t s now if you press control b see hello world and welcome are both printed at separated lines so suppose we want to like i want to show you one more escape sequence suppose we are printing the names robert williams so if you execute it it is printing in the same now if you want to print this in a separate line there is a escape sequence which is backslash and n if you put backslash and n whenever the system get encounter it will place the cursor in the second line let me execute it and let us see the result control b see here robert and williams are so as soon as this one is getting executed whenever this get encountered the system is placing the cursor in the next line and the williams is getting printed so like this we have one more escape sequence which is a tab sequence which is backslash and t now let us see execute it so it will place the tab tab is nothing but a four to five spaces between them robert williams so this is all about escape sequence and we can also we have discussed like a is equal to let us say hello and 
b is equal to let us say volt now we can print a plus b now if you execute see here we can add the strings also as we are adding the numbers we can add the strings also and one more thing i want to show you let us say a is equal to 3 b is equal to 5 so now 5 is a string it is not a number anymore anything placed inside the quotations are treated as strings even the space are also treated as characters now we you cannot add like print a plus b this will give error see it is error because b is not a integer it is a string you cannot add add different data types so this is all about little bit about this sublime editor and you can also change the color schemes according to your requirement like now if you write it will show you different world i like the color schemes in the sublime very much according to my mode i will be changing these colors like dawn this is also a very good color and so try downloading them if you are using windows or you can use any other text editor we will be using both the interactive ruby whenever we are going to the testing the new syntax and whenever we are writing the entire program we will be using this sublime text so hope you understood meet you in the next video with the other topics